So in the question, we're dealing with a parallel plate capacitor that is formed from two four centimeter square electrodes, four by four centimeter square electrodes spaced two millimeters apart. The electric field strength inside the capacitor is one times 10 raised to the six, that's 10 raised to the six, newtons per coulomb. What is the charge in nanocoulombs on each of the electrodes? So let's start by what we are given. We know that the electric field in the capacitor represented by, let's call it E, electric field of the capacitor, the units of which are volts per meter, is the charge divided by the permittivity of free space denoted by epsilon naught times the area of the capacitor. This is the formula, formula for electric field of a capacitor. We have to find out charge on each of the electrodes. So we are given uh, the area of the electrodes is 4 by 4. So if this is one of the electrodes, this is the other and they are 4 by 4 separated by uh, 2 millimeters distance from one another and we need to find out the plus Q and the minus Q on each of the electrodes. So um, let's rearrange this formula so that we can find out what Q is. So just by cross multiplication multiplication we can denote that Q is electric field times epsilon naught times area of each capacitor. So now um, we know the electric field given to us is 1.0 times 10 raised to the 6 newtons per coulomb. We know the permittivity of free space constant as 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 new, uh, coulomb square per newton meter square and we know the area as uh, 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters so that is um, so 0 0.04 meters times 0 0.04 um, meters squared because we're multiplying two things 0.04 meters squared. So this value is equal to 0 0.0016 meters squared. So let's just write that again. So we have 1.0 times 10 raised to the 6 uh, newtons per coulomb times 8.85 times 10 raised to the negative 12 coulomb square per newton meter square times um, 0 0.0016 meters squared. So when we uh, we can see that by dimensional uh, by that the units cancel meter square meter square newtons newtons and what we're left is a unit of charge coulombs. So when we multiply this together, what we get is 14.6 times 10 raised to the negative 9 coulombs and the, and we wanted our answer in nanocoulombs so 10 raised to the negative 9 is a nanocoulomb so we can rewrite this as 14.6 nanocoulombs